Okay, let's come into our mountain pose. Feet hip width apart. Toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lining up. Activate your core, bring that rib area back towards your spine and up. Feel your spine lengthen. Let those shoulders drop back and down. And stretch your head towards the ceiling. Take a few moments focusing inward, breathing. Exhale any tension, let it go. And just keep that inner focus as we practice. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level and stretch your fingertips out. Keep your shoulders down. Hands to your heart, elbows slightly back, opening your heart. Inhale out to the front and keep those shoulders down. And then clasp your hands gently behind you and press them down. So lift your heart, come into a little upper body back then Feel that spine stretch. Don't lift your chin too high. Pivot over at your hips, exhale. And come on all the way down as far as you can. Lift your sitting bones, let the back of your legs stretch. Move your chin around, release any tension in your neck and jaw. And then bend your knees slightly, tuck in your chin, and start at the bottom of your spine and just wind your way up slowly as you go into that again upper body, that bend lifting your heart. Head stretching back, and remember, keep the chin slightly down. Stretch out through the back of your neck. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment feeling your spine getting a little more activated, and spread your toes. Inhale again, arms to shoulder levels. Just stretch them out, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift one position over with your fingers. Stretch into that back bend, lifting your heart, pivot at your hips, exhale down. Get that spine working, stretch those bones apart, let your head drop toward the floor. And when you're ready to come up, just a slight bend in your knees as you come all the way into the back bend. Drop the shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist, stretch the head slightly back, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment again, just noticing your body respond. Side stretches, let's keep one arm down, the other one up, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, and lean to the side. As you do, keep your shoulders facing the front and push the foot you're leaning away from there. Feel the ribs stretch apart. Lateral motion to the spine, just stretch it out. Inhale back up, keep the shoulder down and release that arm. Other arm out, palm to the ceiling and over your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean to the side. Push the foot down, feel the ribs, just opening a little bit more. Stretch it out. And then inhale again, up and release. Take a moment, feeling the sides more open and activated. And get ready for our twist. So remember, really stretch the spine apart on this one. Arms and shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears, sitting bones, shoulder blades down, crown high, stretch it apart, and twist. Take a breath. Exhale, open. And just deepen as much as you'd like in the twist, keeping your weight on both feet as even as you can. You can only worry, just let everything deepen. And then stay in your twist with the weight on both feet as you work your way up and lift your heart. Drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. Remember, don't lift your chin too high. Keep stretching through the back bend, in the upper back, especially not the lower back. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switching your elbows. And again, stretch it out and twist to the other side. The breath in, exhale over. And just take a few moments there, lifting your sitting bones, adjusting so that both feet have weight on. 
and keeping your arms still by your ears. And then work your way up in the twist into once more that upper body back bend. Shoulders down, chest up, keep breathing. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips extended to the ceiling. Keep your arms by your ears, sink evenly into your feet. Pivot forward at your hips, keep your arms by your ears, stretch it out, and drop into rag bone. Take a moment there, just hanging. Let your breath deepen. Let your sitting bones lift. Feel the back of your body. Pull in deeper if you like that back of your body stretch. And then bring your hands back to the center. Bend your knees as you wind your way again all the way up. And once more into mountain pose. Take a moment there. Breathe. Stretch your spine apart and relax your shoulders. And bring your hands to your heart. We look at them, bringing your hands toward the ceiling and thumbs back, following the thumbs with your gaze as you lift your heart. Remember again, keep stretching through the back of your neck in the back bend. Exhale, pivot over, hands to your heart, pivoting in your hips, dropping again into drag dog. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch, lengthen your spine, elbows, knees, and spine, all straight. And drop into ragdoll again, bend your knees slightly, and do another wind up into mountain pose. Take a moment there, breathing. Bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders, extending through your head and fingertips. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, everything straight, extended mountain. Keep your arms by your ears. We're going into our chair squat. So push your sitting bones way back behind you. Keep the toes back behind your toe, the knees back behind your toes, and just bring your body down into your squat as deeply as your knees want to go. So take a moment there, breathe, stretch it out. Exhale any tension, maybe a little deeper, as far as parallel to the floor with your thighs if you love it. But don't overdo those knees. And then lead with your fingertips coming back up, spine still nice and straight, palms out and down to your sides. Shoulders back and down, circling a couple of times. And then again, bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Stretch one side up, come up on the opposite toes, lifting the heel, side to stretch, the foot stays flat. Lengthen through your whole side. Stretch those fingers high. Keep the shoulder, shoulder blades bow toward your waist. Exhale that side down. Do the other one. And again, just stretch it out as much as feels good. And then maybe a little more, but keep the shoulder down. And just lift the heel on that opposite foot. Exhale, release. Bring both arms up. Extend the neck. Sink evenly into your feet. Relax the shoulders. Stretch the fingertips and head up. Sitting bones down. Take a breath or two. Just relax. Take a moment and feel that stability of your extended mat and pose. Spread the toes. Breathe. And then swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level, pivot at your hips, and stretch it out. Drop into ragdoll, slide your hands up under your knees, and into your halfway or stretch. Elbows, knees, spine, straighten. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other. And then bending your knees, exhale, and come into our child pose transition. Sitting on your heels as much as is comfortable, and forehead down toward the feet. Relax the shoulders, take a few breaths, bring the knees together, get a nice stretch on the back of your back, lower back if you feel like it. 
or just your lips. And then tucking in your chin slightly, come on back into a seated position and bring your legs to the front instead. Sitting down slightly behind you, core supporting your spine, shoulders relaxing down, crown reaching up, press out through the heels, pulling the toes again. Take a moment there, let's just warm up the hips from over here. So bring one foot to the opposite thigh, as high as it wants to go, and let the knee come down. Take a few breaths. Remember, if you feel tight today, bring that leg over to the side for a little easier opening through the hip joint, if that's working for your hip today. Let the knee come down, or you can add a little weight from your hands, but remember, don't press. That makes the muscles resist, and then they don't relax as much, and they don't ease down toward the floor as much. So just allow your knee to do what it needs to do today. Remember, days are different, so it may be tighter on one day than another. Just let it be, let it relax, and let it adjust on its own. And when you're ready to release, bring your foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull the leg in and rotate side to side for that hip rotator. So just feel it getting a little bit more warmed up at the side. And then release that leg, coming back into standing position. Feel the difference on the two sides. So yeah, we have a balance and do the other one. So bring the opposite for that. Let the knee come down. And again, if it's tight today, remember you can also pad behind or bring the leg over to the side. And allow your body just to do its thing there or add some weight, but no pressure. And just let it relax on its own. Take a few breaths there, releasing and relaxing, allowing your body to do its thing and not resisting. And again, bringing the foot and knee into your hands or pulling the leg in, rotate it side to side. Take a few breaths, just relaxing. Making that adjustment if you need to to make it more intense or less intense. And when you're done, bring that leg back into stand. Take a moment there, just feeling your hips a little bit more adjusted. And then let's come into a cross leg position. Reach as a habit. Remember, let's start in the opposite direction so that we balance the body. So sitting bones slightly behind your core, still supporting your spine with that activated core and shoulders back and down. Reach the crown toward the ceiling. We'll work the neck a little bit today. So go ahead and bring your chin into that little throat center indentation at the base of your neck. Take a breath. Just let the back of your neck give a nice little stretch. And then intensify it without pressure. So just bring the weight of your hands onto the back of your head. Just let the back of your neck give a nice little stretch. So again, that's the forward bend position for your neck, but the rest of the spine staying straight. Breathe into it. As you exhale, just maybe deepen with that chin toward your chest. Exhale and release. And then release your hands, tip your head up, and lift your chin. So remember, keep lifting through that back of the neck base of the skull area as well, so you're not clenching the back. And stretch the head away. Move your jaw around for a little tightening on the front of your throat, and releasing the jaw as well. Circling, pushing it forward and back. Stretching your face. And then in neutral position, come on with your head back upright, and we'll do the side stretches. So go ahead and tip your ear to one side, keep both shoulders down, and then pinching up. Exhale, just deepen that ear going over, but remember, it won't make it to the shoulder, that's understandable. 
and then take the hand you're tipping toward, bring it to the outside of your head. Just add weight, not pressure, and let that stretch intensify maybe a little bit, but relax. Exhale. Let it stretch a little. If you love it, you can bring your hand to the floor, making it even more intense, or you can just stay with the hand on your leg. Exhale and just relax. And then bring your hands back down, your head back upright, and feel the difference. Remember, doing your yoga, noticing your body. Exhaling tension. And we'll do the other side, tip the ear over the other direction. And again, relax those shoulders, shoulder blades down, sitting bones are behind you slightly still. And you're relaxing the ear over just straight to the side, no twist. Bring your hand up, opposite hand to the outside of your head, letting the stretch intensify, but relaxing into it. Stay there, or you can bring your hand down to the floor. And again, just however much you want to maximize on that side, remember, keep relaxing into it. That's when the stretch is going to be easier to do. Stressing and straining it just tightens things and makes it less likely to give a good stretch. So exhale, just relax a little bit more. And then hands back down and head back upright. Feel the sides, both of them a little bit more activated and stretched out. And let's switch the legs around and do our neck twist. So remember, shoulders and hips stay facing the front. All we're gonna do is move the neck around. So stretch up through the crown, and then turn your chin, and only your neck twists pretty much as you turn to the side. So take a moment and breathe as you look toward the side or the back as far as it wants to go. Breathe in as you exhale, maybe deepen or whatever is right for your neck. And exhale and relax. Keep stretching up through the crown and turn your chin back to the center. Take a breath. Exhale, turn to the opposite shoulder. So the chin comes around as far as it wants to go. Just breathe and relax. Shoulders releasing. And just turning, looking toward the back as far as you can go. Exhale and relax. And again, on the breath in, stretch that spine up fur. And on an exhalation, turn back to the center. Take a moment, breathing, feeling what's going on in your body. And we'll do a little circle. So bring your chin to the throat center. Feel that stretch along the back of the neck. And then rotate the chin over toward the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, in toward the middle, over to the other side, down to the shoulder, rolling back to the center. And do the same direction again, over, up, around, down, and back to the center. One more time. Keep stretching out through the crown while you're doing it. Just feel that whole circle through. When you get back to the center the next time, just pause and we'll reverse our circle. So go ahead, rotating to the opposite shoulder, toward the ceiling, toward the middle, over, down to the shoulder, and back to the center. Circle it around, just really slowly, feeling the motion all the way around, breathing into it, letting it relax as you circle. And for one more time, just come to the middle and relax completely, feeling what's going on through your neck and upper body. And then when you're ready, tip your chin back upright, shoulders relaxing down, spine stretching open, and don't forget to breathe. And then let's switch the legs again in our cross-legged position. 
And then notice whichever leg is on top or in front. And we'll do our twist. So stretch up through the spine. Bring your hand to the top or opposite knee and the other arm out at shoulder level. Stretch the spine apart, but keep the shoulder, shoulder blades down. Sitting bone is slightly behind you. Stretch up. Exhale, follow your hand into the twist. Bring the hand down to the floor, close to your body, and stretch your spine again. And as you exhale, turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder, going a little deeper into the twist. If you love a twist, you can leverage a little with your hand, but not too much, just deepening the twist on each exhalation. So that hip you're moving away from can be slightly up so that those hips can move as well as the ribs and shoulders into the twist. Take a breath, keep stretching up, keep exhaling and relaxing. And when you're ready to release, bring the hand to shoulder level behind you and follow it back around to the center. Release your hands and switch your legs so we can twist to the opposite side. And again, breathing, stretching up. We're gonna bring the hand to the other knee and the arm out and shoulder level. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, spine stretching apart. Exhale, follow that hand all the way around into the twist. Bring it to the floor, close to you on the floor, and stretch up. Exhale, deepen into the twist. And again, go as deeply as you like, just being gentle. Or if you love a twist, you can deepen it with a little pressure on that knee. Lift your hand. Exhaling, moving the hips and ribs and shoulder, not just reach. Take a breath or two, relaxing into your twist. And when you're ready to release again, bring the hand up and just follow it gently around to the center. Take a moment there, breathing, feeling that twist energy. And then bringing your legs to the end of the mat into staff position. Get the city bones slightly behind you and activate the core so it can support you on your way to the mat. And as you get all the way down, just bring your hands next to you, palms down on the floor, shoulders also down to the floor. Side your city bones towards your heels with the knees bending. And then bring your heels up right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor. So remember, knees straight up. You may need to have a little roll in at the top of the thigh. Do that. Not want them going out or in or in bridge position. So slide the back of your body down to the floor. Hit the sitting bones slightly towards your heels. Feel that contraction in your midsection. And then bring your ribs up and your belly toward the ceiling. Keep those knees hip width apart, press gently into the feet, and come up a little more onto your shoulders. Make sure your head, not in the neck, is on the floor. Spread your toes, press evenly into both feet, lift the hips maybe a little bit more. So take a few moments to breathe. Exhale as you lift those ribs up. Feeling that core maybe contract a little bit more. And then release your shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades, come down onto your ribs, and bring the spine all the way down. Take a breath. Exhale and bring your arms to T position. Thumbs up or down, we'll just do our regular bent knee twist. Press the back gently down, lift the feet, keep the knees right above the hips. If you want, you can cross your leg over the other one and then roll over to the side. Knees right at hip level, or keep the knees together as you do that. And just go as far toward the floor with those knees as your body wants to go. Turn your head toward the opposite arm for your neck twist, and keep those shoulders down, middle back twist. Deepen as much or as little as you'd like in your position today. Exhale, remember, stress is not our friend. Just release any tightness. Exhale, literally. As you do those ligaments, may release that 
knees may deepen further toward the floor. If that happens, let it happen. If don't force it, deepen it, breathe, exhale the tension. And when it's time to release your twist, bring your heels toward your hips and roll onto your back. If you cross your legs, straighten them out, and we'll do the opposite. Feet are off the floor, knees right above your hips, cross or uncross your legs, whichever you prefer, and roll the knees over toward the hip level on the floor. Turn your head the opposite direction, letting the neck twist if it needs to. So remember, always honor your body doing what it needs. And keep those shoulders down as much as you can so that you can let that middle back get a good stretch and twist. Knees coming down for that lower back twist as well. Just let it happen, don't force it. And again, turn your neck only as much as your neck needs to go. Deep breaths. Exhale, releasing the ligaments, letting your body relax. Deepening into your twist as much or little as you need. Exhale and release any tightness. And then heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back when you're ready to release. Uncross your legs if they were crossed, feet to the floor, and slide the legs out, hip width apart, toes toward each other, and then releasing, letting those hips and legs relax. Palms up with your hands near your side, letting the shoulders release down into the foot. A little curve under your back, that's fine. Just let it be in its natural position. Relax into the surface beneath, through the hips, through the shoulders, through the heels, through the head. Bring your head side to side again, letting that neck release. And bring the chin toward the throat center and roll to one shoulder. And then back to the center, over to the other side. Come back to the center and then just relax. Deep breath in, let your body grow heavy and just let it sink into that earth support beneath you. Deepening with each exhalation, letting your body go, relaxing completely into whatever position feels right for you today. As your body relaxes, just let it go. Allowing your body to release and your mind to wander, releasing thoughts of your body and letting any other thoughts come to you also release. It's the job of your mind to produce those new thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you don't need to follow those thoughts anywhere. Just let them drift away without awareness. And as your body relaxes, Sinking deeper into that earth embrace, let it go. And let your mind float freely, releasing any content of the thoughts. Forget the past, no anticipation of the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. And allow your awareness just to turn inward, finding that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace. That relaxation today is really good. Just keep relaxing as long as you have the opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, though, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath. 
back to the mind, to the land, to your body. Now, as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Giving yourself a good stretch, leaving your ankles, your feet, your shoulders, whatever feels right. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down, bring your heels toward your hips, and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, whoever feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.